At the same time, are you? Do you feel what, like emotion-wise? Is it disappointment? Is it frustration? Oh yeah, it's definitely disappointing. Uh, it's definitely frustrating. But uh, I mean, what can we do? It's, it's an adver it's adversity. Uh, you just gotta fight through it and, and continue. And you just gotta lead these guys in the right direction. Uh, come on, going for it. And, uh, and get ready for Texas. So that's, that's what we can do from uh, here on out. And just as a voice, as a leader, what do you say to the younger guys to try to keep them on that right path? Um, you know, just just recognize that you are blessed uh, to be here. And, um, you know, you just don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. You're blessed to be here. And uh, you just don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. Just keep your head on straight. You're here to play football, you're here to do it. And, uh, Everything else is just a bonus, so uh, just make sure you stay on task. What did you do over the weekend when you had your free time? Uh, just hanging out with my uh, fiance. She she came up and visited me for the weekend, so we was just hanging out. <laughs> All right. What were your thoughts on being named captain? Uh, definitely exciting. Um, surprised, um, and I'm I'm excited to to, to take on that role and uh, lead these guys. What qualities do you think your teammates saw in you when they chose you to lead the team? Um, you know, I'm a guy that, that's always led by example. Uh, that tries to go out there and keep, keep a clean nose and, um, you know, just take care of business every day and go out there and work and, and attack every workout, every practice uh, the same way. So I think that's the quality that they saw and the coaches they saw uh, that, that made me a candidate for it. I mean, you're not a guy that's necessarily been at the forefront of the offense as a starter or statistically, whereas you know, McGlinch, you start a few games with Shell, obviously. Um, what do you think you did to impress your teammates and the coaching staff to, to, uh, to select you? Um, I feel like, you know, even last year and the year before, I've always been a guy who uh, just went out there and practiced hard every day and try to get better every day or something. And, you know, I would always try to be a vocal, like try to be vocal, I would try to step out of my comfort zone. Uh, I would try to get on Will Fuller, like Chris Brown. I would, you know, just stay on guys and like, you know, just try to pep, pep guys up. So even, this is even before you know, I was. Yeah. You think what guy. you overcame physically played a role in it? Oh uh, yeah, I think, you know, me overcoming a lot of adversity as well. Um, and, and them seeing me grow, you know, from a freshman to now, uh, I think they, you know, they saw that in me and gave me a, gave me a chance at being a, a leader for the have team. You, have you had a chance to talk to your family about this yet? Uh, yeah, I talked to my parents and, you know, they were super excited about it. Uh, you know, my mom was, you know, super excited. Uh, I didn't get to see my dad's reaction when we talked over the phone. I yeah. FaceTimed my mom. And, uh, yeah, she was super excited. Yeah. What did your dad What your dad have to say? Uh, just lead them boys. That's, you know, that's that's his kind of favorite phrase. Just yeah. lead them boys. Uh, so, yeah, that was his worst to me. Just he was just excited.